if you can go to work at 7 o'clock in the morning and I can smell you in the elevator, because, honey, you smell like like two days, like two days of unbathing, you need to get your life together because... to age is how you wear it lifestyle travel beauty unboxings i'm here for whatever i feel whenever i feel like just recording something so that's the best content to me when i was trying to do it where i was like scheduling it all out being uh, you know stressed out about what am I going to say? What am I going to do? I no longer do that. Okay. So for my eight serious followers, you know that I do my best stuff when I'm just me. Right. So that's why just being you is so important because it's genuine when it's just you. Okay. So I have some beauty stuff now, you know, I'm on a no buy. And the only thing is, I'm on a no-buy for clothes, shoes, hats, which is what I always was buying. So, not on my beauty items, my, you know, anything that has to do with the care of myself, I'm going to buy that. Uh, even jewelry if I want to, because that's that's not on my no-buy list. Uh, because you can get jewelry for next to nothing. So speaking of jewelry, I wanted to talk about these earrings because I got something from Amazon that changed everything for me. Do you understand what I mean? It changed everything for me. Okay, so you know, sometimes you buy earrings and they're just so cute, right? But they be clip-ons and clip-ons on some people is hard. Like on me, I have very small ears. So these earrings were a clip-on and they just kept falling off. And it's because they were too heavy. Even though they don't feel heavy, they were too heavy for my little earlobe. So what did I do? You know you got to go to Amazon. So I went to Amazon and I got this kit. And this kit, which you know I'm going to put here, here. The, you know I'm going to put it on the screen. This is for converting your clip-ons to um, a post where they have the post earring and it comes with the glue that you use. Look at all these backs for the earring. The post, oh shoot, man. Oh, it's gonna be hard to find these. They came out the little pack. The little pack had the post in it. So these are the little posts. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got the post. It even has some clear backs. And then small posts if you have small earrings. The ones I just showed you were larger posts. And half of them just fell on the floor. Lord, I'm going to be stepping on. Oh, I'm going to have to get those up. But anyway, and all you need is wire cutters. And so what I did was I just Clip the back of it off that had the um, the actual clip on part, and it shows you a video. And then I just glued that on, let it sit in my windowsill, and let it dry. Oh, geez, and follow with me. You've seen these earrings. They are vintage, handmade earrings. The date is even on the back, and the person signed it. It was in the, I think it was in the 80s. Look at that. And I put a post on it 
and now I can wear them as uh, in my holes in my ears instead of clip-ons. Now I'm I'm doing every earring I see. If I see a clip-on that I want, and you can get vice versa. If you can't wear posts because you don't have holes in your ears, Amazon has the ones where you convert it to clip-ons. Get with it. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. So today will be all beauty items. I'm going to show you my favorite that I've been using and discovered. Because don't forget, I've been discovering so many good things in my <sighs> in my makeup. Now, I don't have drawers and drawers of makeup, but I do have makeup, okay? Because we all try different things. Like, I'm going to show you my favorites. And before I do that, um, I also got, just to go off of the beauty, because I showed you the ear posts. I also bought some new um, press-on nails. I've never tried OPI's press on nails. This is what it looks like. And these are what I'm wearing now. These are OPI press on nails. So they made their own nails. You know, the polish is good. These are beautiful. I hope you can really, really, mm, child. I hope you can really see them because they have like a little gold glitter on them. And um, I got it from. When I went to, uh, what is it called? Ulta. So when I went to Ulta, because on my job, uh, you get points, and I had a $100 gift card, um, and I I got an Ulta $100 gift card. So I went in there, and I spent everything but $10, and I saved that $10 because I'm going to get, while I was in there, I smelled the first Versace um, Yellow Diamond. I did not know how good that smelled. I couldn't stop smelling myself all the way home. It is so, I, I can't wait to get it. It will be my spring and summer scent, most definitely. So I said, let me say this little $10 ago towards it, because I was spinning my tail off. But before I get into what I bought at Ulta, and I had bought some stuff from, I had bought. I had bought. Mm. I bought some stuff from Bath and Body Works as well. But before I talk about that, I want to talk a little bit about hygiene. Because I don't know about everybody else, but I have five things I shower with. I have five different products I use in the shower. And I just want to know, am I the only one? Am I the only one who do this? So let me know in the comments if you have multiple things that you use for multiple parts of your body. Uh, because some people need this. Because if you can go to work at 7 o'clock in the morning and I can smell you in the elevator. Because, honey, you smell like, like two days like two days of unbathing, you need to get your life together because to me, once a woman, child, it don't matter because now people getting on their cycle way before, you know, my granddaughter was nine. I didn't know what to do. I almost passed out. And believe me, my son almost passed out when he called and asked me what he should do. She got a whole mama, but he called his mama <laughs> because he has her just as much as his mama has her so that is actually they are great co-parents so he was like what do i do so i sent him everything to start her off that'll stay at his house and he's been doing that ever since but then the first thing i told him make sure you teach her that she needs to bathe every single day okay because now not only has her body chemistry changed but even I don't care, even if you're a grown woman and you don't have periods no more, you still, once your body chemistry changes, and it changes throughout your life, because now I have a different smell than I smelled when I was 20. Have you noticed that your body as a woman goes through so many changes, and it's all chemical? 
and you have a different smell through different times of your life. And what I am not going to do is smell like an old lady. That is not going to happen. I remember my grandmother and her house smelled like an old lady. I love the death of her house smelled like an old lady. And she smelled like an old lady. I ain't saying funky. I'm saying just like a, like a, I don't know, like an old lady. So that's what I'm saying. Your body chemistry changes. So let me go over the five things I bathe with. And you can tell me if, if you do the same thing or am I just the one that's just overboard. So first I'm going to talk about the, what I wash my face with. So I wash my, my face with fresh foaming cleanser by Neutrogena. And this is almost gone. And I love that it's a pump because you can use a little bit of this and it goes a long way. In my neck, I wash my face in my neck with this. I'm going to go down the body. That's right. All the way to the feet. What is happening? Okay. So that's that part. Then for my arms and my upper torso. I use my uh, coconut miracle oil side, but this is it. All ultra moisturizing coconut oil. This is for my body. This is for my upper torso. And this is also what I wash my legs with. So my legs, my feet, and my upper body, I wash with this. Then I called a body conditioner. This is what I use on the outer area of Miss Kitty. The, the top and the outer area. Because you don't put nothing in your body or in the area. Okay? It you every if you are like me and I'm very sensitive, I learned that I can't put nothing down there. But I can do this Olay body moisturizer. Keeps me fresh. And for my Boutana. <laughs> Backside. Booty. <laughs> um, I use my ginger. This is by... Um, this is by Origins, and it's my Ginger Burst. This right here. This is marinating while I shower. And then I rinse it off. That right there is the best booty cleanser ever. Oh, I'm going to find it and put it to the side. I put this on my legs and my arms. In my breast. So this is the last thing I put on. And those are the five things I use. Every day. But let me know if you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some of my favorite beauty products that I use. And then I'm going to show you my new ones that I bought. Okay, so... One of my favorite um, items I use to make me have a glow. You know I don't use a lot of makeup, right? I don't use heavy makeup at all. So I like a little glow so I don't put all that stuff on, you know, uh, glow stuff and all that. I just use this in my with my makeup. I put a drop of it. And it's the By Terry. And I'm going to put that next to here. Every time I wear makeup, I put this on. I love it. And I usually will mix it with this uh, Laura Mercier. Uh, this is the Tinted uh, Moisturizer All Free uh, Face Tint. So I will put this on and mix this together. On my days I go to work. Make sure that it's, you know, down and will stay. 
my Charlotte Tilbury. This is what I surely will be rebuying. All these things when before they are ultimately gone. My Charlotte Tilbury powder. I put that on on top. Set my face. That's all that way to work. That's it right there. My favorite combos for my dark eyes. So um, I'm going to show you a picture here. This picture is me. It is me without anything. No makeup, no, no eyelashes, no nothing. You see, that is how I look. And I have dark circles and a birthmark. So I have dark circles around my eyes and a birthmark on my face. And um, so when I use makeup, I don't, I can do like others do and put, you know, where your face is like a whole face that's new. Like you don't see no blemishes. You don't see no nothing. I could put that, what they call it, that foundation that covers every single thing. But that's not who I am. I cannot do that. I cannot put makeup on, uh, makeup on like that. Some people are just not made to put makeup on. Not everybody can. So I had to learn to do what's best for me and what I am comfortable with. And I am comfortable with this. So I do my... Maybelline, and I've talked about this so much, my um, eraser. And this right here is what I put on my eyes along with this Forever Skin Con Corrector. Both of these are a corrector. This is the Dior one. I mix these two together. And this is the outcome that you see before you. So I mix these two together. And then I put on, like today, because I'm filming, I do put on just a little foundation. And then the rest is these items. So today I didn't put these on because this is what I wear to work. So I put some makeup on. Um, and so, I mean, some foundation. And I got the actually the Fenty Powder Foundation on. And I don't try to use so much that it's covered up. Because sometimes you can see it. I just like to brighten my eyes so that I just look better to me. Then I use also this NYX on my, um, on my brows. I just take any... Um, I would just take a... Um, Mascara and drawing my eyebrows. I have no eyebrows and I just do this NYX on top. This is the uh, it's called Thicket and It's the gel and I use this right here And then my all-time favorite I told you this right here. I've told you many times before this is my Louis Vuitton uh, Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton uh, eye cream. I can't, I have to get some more of this. I've had this for three years now, still going. And I use this every single day I go to work. I put this on and then I put on any eyeshadow because I use this as a base every single time. And it is still going. You would think this little teeny, because it's not all this. This is the, this is the applicator. This bottle right here is worth every dime. And I am going to get me some more of it when I think this is running out. So that's all of the... Oh, and when I want to take my makeup off, this coconut oil, this organic 100% coconut oil, this right here, you know I've told you about many things I've used to take makeup off. This right here is the best thing I've ever used. I just use some of this and I just put it all over my face, take a wipe, wipe it off, wash my face. Um, and then I put a little more of this on to moisturize again. And this right here, and I don't know if anybody who has very oily skin can use this, but if you don't have oily skin, I love this stuff. So those are things I just can't get. Those are my die hard, I have to have makeup items. Just those few. Okay, so what did I buy? Because I don't want to keep you. 
so i bought me some more morphe i do like this i do i do fix it by this fix it is my die hard by mac this is my die hard but i also like the morph the morphe um setting spray as well the setting mist i really like this so i up this up um i got those nails and i think i got one other thing but i can't find it so it's probably something i already put away i also wanted to try some new liquid uh eyeshadow so i bought these rem beauty i'm gonna put it on the side that i got from ultra and this is called the hot lava that's the color look at this color guys and wait So this is what the applicator looks like. And this is the color. Can you see the color? Hopefully you can see it. But this is what it looks like. And this right here, oh, I cannot wait to try this liquid eyeshadow. And I got that one and I got the one that is, what is the name of this one? Milky Way. This is like a midnight shadow. So this is a darker shadow. It's called Milky Way. And it is a blue. So here's the applicator. This is the way it looks. And this is the color. I hope you can see the color. So when I try these, and they are good. I will buy because they had multiple colors. I will now, buy. Let's talk about what I got from Bath and Body Works. So let's go over that. I'm so excited because, baby, if you haven't went to see their new, what is it, gingham, uh, gorgeous, it's in this bottle, baby, baby. This right here, I don't know what Bath and Body Works is doing. I don't know what they doing, but this is delicious. Please run out. If you don't do nothing else, run out and get this. I can, I can see this being mixed with so many of my perfumes for the spring and summer. I got the Body Mist, honey. I got the cream. Soon as I smelled it, I went completely off. Do you understand me? I got the cream. So uh, me and a friend went and we they had the buy three, get three. So they got three and I got three. That's the best way to do it. Because I don't need six. And I also got the one that is the... Uh, I don't know what this phrase is. So I got this. This I'm going to put in my mister. Because y'all know I take... Bath and Body Works mist. And because I don't wear them, I uh the ones that I like to try, I will put them in the humidifier and mist my house with the Bath and Body Works. To me, it lasts longer than what you put on your body. But I can tell you, I sprayed this all day. All day I smelt it. All day. I don't know what's in this one. I don't know. But go and get you some of this. You better get you some of this. I even got the candle. When they had the buy one, get one. And I think that is still going on. So I got the candle. See, I've been burning it. And I got this one. Buy one, get one. And I got both of them. Same thing. I didn't want to try nothing new. I love the way this smell. But I can say, now that I bought it, this right here is definitely for a bathroom or your bedroom and you keep the door shut to have that smell really um, stay in a focused area. Absolutely. Okay, guys. I hope I didn't keep you. You see, I had some beauty items. I haven't done beauty items in a while. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, you know what's next. 
we got to do our devotion. Thanks for staying back for our devotion. You know how important it is. Okay, so this is coming from Psalms 34, 16. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. Okay, but be careful. His eyes are open. That means God doesn't close his eye every time we do something we're not supposed to do. I wonder if he saw that. Do you think he saw me? Thank God before you do it. Because the cry you may make after you do what you want to do, he may not hear it. You didn't want me to see it. Now I'm not going to hear it. We got to be more careful. Really. What a comfort to realize that you, dear Lord, always have your eyes and ears open. Not just in a general way, but specifically to watch over me and to listen for my cries. There was times I thought of you of being indifferent towards me. There have been times when I've even thought you were rejecting me. But I realize now how wrong I was. So remember, you're wondering why. Okay, what did I do? God, do you hear my cries? Don't forget, he saw what you did. We always think, well, we can just say, I'm sorry. God always forgives. He may forgive, but that don't mean he heard you when you cried after the fact. Okay, my little butterflies, remember, no matter what, you are beautiful inside and out. See you next time. Okay, I need